In this segment, we're going to show how to take a motor out of a raw sovereign laminator. You'll find the laminator's motor over on the left-hand side of the back panel once the back panel is taken off. You'll need a set of Allen wrenches. And what we need to do is remove the drive gear. It'll have two Allen screws that hold it and four screws that hold the motor in place with adjustment slots. First, what we'll do is loosen up the motor by taking our Allen wrench and loosening up on these four Allen screws and removing them. What we'll need to do is we have four screws that hold the motor in place and there's two set screws that hold the gear that attaches to the motor. We find it easier to take these and loosen up first. We'll take our Allen wrench and loosen this up. Now we can remove the gear and then we take off this four screws that hold the motor. And now we come over here and disconnect the power supply to the motor. Hold on to the gear and we can pull out our motor and now we're ready to replace it with our new motor. Now we're going to take our new motor and put it into the laminator. We have to look at the orientation. Normally you'll take your shaft here and that'll go towards the inside of the laminator. So we'll feed this in. Now we want to take our four screws. We need to line up the motor. And reinsert the four screws into the holes provided. Next we need to replace our gear onto the motor. Now we're going to slide the motor back so that we have tension in our chains. We don't want to have it too loose. Just want to have a little bit of play. Now we're going to tighten down on our four screws. And then finally, we need to tighten up our two screws that hold the gear onto the motor. We want to make sure that we're parallel here with our chains, that it's not too far in or out and then tighten our two screws. Now we have that accomplished. Make sure everything is tight, that we have good chain pressure. Finally, what we need to do is plug our connector back in to our motor and we're ready to go.